Hi, I'm Dr. Kim Scheuer of Doc's Lifestyle Medicine, and I am very, very pleased to be in the company of an esteemed cardiologist from New York, Dr. James Scheuer. Hi, Dad. How are you? Okay. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. Well, it's a pleasure to be here uh, to share with my daughter, Kim, Dr. Kim, the uh, some of my thoughts on uh, health and activities and diet in cardiology. Perfect. So you've been a cardiologist for years, and in your long, long, long career, what have you learned about how lifestyle affects heart disease? Well, my interest for a very long time has been primarily on exercise and its effect on the heart and on and its effect on those patients who already have heart disease. And it goes back to studies beginning in the late 1940s from England that showed that bus busmen, bus drivers and ticket takers who were in the active group had better survival and less heart disease than those who were in the inactive group. And this was followed by the Paffenbarger study from Harvard beginning in the 1960s where they followed Harvard graduates and, and uh, followed their exercise attempts and their exercise life and showed over many, many years that those who had a high level of exercise had less heart disease than those who had a moderate level of exercise, but the moderates were better than those who had a sedentary lifestyle. And then uh, I got interested in this actually. I was in the woods getting my own exercise, and mm -hmm. this is a true story. And I said, in view of these studies, what happens to the heart with exercise? And in my own laboratory for 30 or 40 years, we studied the effect of exercise on heart muscle and showed that it improved the function of a normal heart, but reversed the dysfunction of an abnormal heart. And uh, we published those studies in uh, many, many years. More recently, I've gotten interested in the, the effect of diet and exercise on heart disease. And, uh, of course, was stimulated by the wonderful work of Dean Ornish. He's wonderful. And which showed that not only it helped prevent heart disease, but reverse heart disease in those who had coronary disease. And this was followed by uh, Conrad Esselstyn's studies, which took very severely diseased patients with very severely diseased hearts and actually showed a marked reversal and improvement and return towards normal. So the, and, and that is with diet and exercise. And then now there are a lot of epidemiologic studies that show the effect of lifestyle, diet, exercise, and particularly a vegetarian type diet on preventing heart disease and improving general health, and in some cases actually delaying the onset of cancer. So it's been a long journey. And in our own hospital, where uh, I've been chief, of, or have been chief of cardiology, we developed a lifestyle cardiology program under Dr. Robert Osfeld. I didn't, I'm not involved in it, but I observed it, 
which meets every Saturday. People come in, healthy people, people with diseased hearts, and they get instructions and they get follow-up on a real lifestyle change. And it's really been an inspiration to see what's going on. So that's my life in this area. Well, thank you so much. I, it's been wonderful to be with you, and I'm so glad you're sharing this journey with me and this conversation. I love you. Okay. <laughs> it's a real pleasure. And by the way, yeah. the lifestyle, uh, it's been a joy to see you change from taking care of only sick patients, which is very, very important, but also promoting health, which is even perhaps more important. It's been a great journey.